Hi, I'm Kim McLeod from Stress Positive and this is the last in the series of videos that we've been making around um, coping with grief. I hope that you've found it useful. I hope that you're now feeling that there is hope in your life again. That you can see ahead, that you can have a happier life. And today I want to talk about you and your life. What could you do for the rest of your life? The answer is anything. And I'd like you to start thinking about what you want to have in your life. Have you been putting things off? How are you doing the job that you want to be doing? Are you spending time on the projects and with the people that you love and really enhance your happiness? I know that when Callum died, it was um, it was a big shake. I mean, a really tragic situation. And out of that tragedy, though, came a, a realisation that life is short. I know that we say it all the time, but when you're hit with the loss, particularly of a child, you know, Callum was 12 when he died, and that really shakes you. But also for us, for myself and my family, it made us think about what are we putting off? So I want to get you thinking about what are you going to, what are you putting off? What could you do? What could you start to plan? I'm not saying you're suddenly going to change your life now and start to do it all immediately. But even beginning to have those ideas. For me it was when I started to think about running my happiness clubs. Because what I wanted to do, more than anything else, was to spread happiness in the world. Callum was such a happy, cheery boy. Um, we had such a wonderful life. I think generally I was a happy person before Callum died and I know that I'm a happy person again now. So for me, sharing my happiness was, um, was the, the positive outcome and the thing that I knew that I could do. For my husband, um, Sinclair had always written books in the past but never really finished anything. And he chose to, to then really commit to writing. And he finished his first book, which was The Reluctant Detective, and has gone on to write many more. And so we now actually help people to, to publish their books too. So from tragedy, great things can come. And it may not feel like it, particularly if you're in the early stages of grief, I totally understand that. But I want you to, when you've become, if you've gone through the rest of the videos and you've put some of those things in practice, and your days are feeling better, on the up days, plan, start to think about what you could do. What would make a difference? Make your life count. Be happy. So I would love to hear what you, your ideas are. Please come and share them with me on my Facebook page, Stress the Positive. Or you can add some comments on the video below the video here. Or get in touch with me personally. And if you are still struggling, please let me know. Um, we've got lots of resources um, and different ways that it can help. So I hope that you go on to really make a difference and have a good life. And that hope this journey of these videos has brought some more hope into your life too. So thanks very much for sharing this time with me and I hope to connect with you again soon. Thanks very much. Bye bye.